Good morning. Today is January 4th and it is my first day back to work with kids. I had a work day yesterday and got a ton done at school, but I'm going to have kids again today, which I'm really excited about. I missed them over the two week Christmas break. Um, I've got about nine minutes before I need to wake my oldest daughter up to get her ready for school and I still need to make her lunch and I'm gonna make a crock pot dinner for tonight because I start after school tutorials today. My daughter has dance after school and my husband has a meeting. So it's gonna be a really busy day for us. So I need to do something quick. I have some chicken and I have some honey mustard um, dressing, which is zero sugar, zero calorie, zero carb. I'm just gonna dump it all together and hope that that turns out good. Also, I weighed this morning and the scale says that I'm down to 173, which is insane. Uh, I weighed 179 like four or five days ago. So um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. This is from Amazon. I'll show you a better picture of it later, but it feels really good on. It's my first bodysuit to ever wear and I don't feel horrible in it. So that's, you know, a step in the right direction. Anyway, I'll show you guys how I do this honey mustard chicken and I'll show you the finished product here after school. this morning so it's extra done um, falling apart I think I'm going to shred it with my hand mixer and I thought about like adding some cream cheese to it and then broccoli and maybe some cauliflower rice I don't know yet I'm just gonna see kind of how it shreds and what the consistency is with this dressing So that shredded up super easy. Yum.
about two thirds of a brick of cream cheese in here. Just what I had left from those uh, poppers the other day. And then I had a little bit of broccoli left, some fresh broccoli, some spinach, some cauliflower rice, and then the rest of the garlic that I had. And I'm just gonna stir all this together and let it kind of sit for a while. I figured that would be the easiest thing. The cream cheese made it really creamy and thickened it up a little bit. And all this stuff will cook down and it'll, I think, end up being pretty good. So we shall see. Give it another, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes for all that to cook down and soften. All right, so I thought it needed something. So I added some Swiss cheese all over the top. And we'll see how that goes. So tonight for dinner, we're making buffalo cheesy sausage balls. So I've got a pound of sausage in here, just pork sausage, like ground pork. I have a third of a brick of cream cheese. I have one egg, um, a handful of cheese, so probably between a quarter of a cup and a half a cup. And then I did season it with some of that Montreal steak seasoning. And I am just going to mix this together and make it into little... Uh, like meatballs. Hello. All right, so I ended up with 14 meatballs and they look really good. I think they're gonna be delicious. After they cook, I'm just gonna, what? I'm gonna toss them in some buffalo sauce and that's gonna be uh, the main part of our dinner. And then I had some fresh Brussels sprouts in the fridge. So I just halved them, cut up an onion into big slices, put a spoonful of garlic, on them and then drizzled them in olive oil and added salt and pepper and i'm gonna just cook these together in the oven um i haven't worked out yet and it is six okay six seventeen so i'm gonna go do a real quick um whitney simmons hit workout while these are cooking for 20 minutes ton of carrots in my fridge just left over from the holidays and I decided to incorporate them into my dinner tonight so we're just gonna do like a ground beef stir fry with the vegetables that I had in my oven in, not in my oven in my refrigerator so I've got a, about a pound of ground beef in here with some thickly cut onions and then after this cooks down I'm gonna add some Worcestershire 
and then I'm gonna add in all my vegetables. So I've got squash, zucchini, and carrots, and I'm gonna let all that just kind of cook down and cook together, and that is what we are going to have for dinner tonight. All right, so my ground beef is pretty much cooked. Um, it still has a little ways to go, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump in all of these vegetables that I cut up. And this is really gonna bulk up the meal. I'm just gonna stir these around and let this cook down. Okay, so this has been cooking for about, I don't know, 30 or 45 minutes, and it did um, suck up all of the juice that was in the bottom, so I poured in some chicken broth and just covered it and let it cook, and all these vegetables softened right up. I've had a bite or two, and it tastes delicious, and I'm just waiting on Luke to get home so we can eat, but this is just another really healthy meal for 2022. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Um, it's I call it a chili dog bake. It's basically a hot dog without the bun. So it's just um, like hot dogs with uh, some chili poured on top. I sliced up an onion and put it on there. I'm gonna put some sauerkraut on top now and some cheese, maybe a little mustard if we decide to get crazy, but um, we really like this. We love hot dogs. So it's just a little bit healthier option than having it in a bun. This was probably my favorite meal of the week because it really felt like a cheat meal, but it wasn't. It was completely low carb and completely healthy. So I did his and hers nachos. My husband had just regular tortilla chips and I had mine on pork rinds. Um, mine are the hot and spicy. I probably could have used regular and maybe I'll do that next time, but that was all that my grocery store had at the time. So all I did was top my pork rinds with cheese and then I had already cooked up some ground beef and added a packet of taco seasoning and cooked, cooked that with an onion. So I just put all that meat on top of mine and my husband's. Then I put black beans and olives. I just baked that for a few minutes until the cheese was melted. You definitely don't want to overcook these. And when they came out, I topped them with sour cream and salsa, but you could also add avocado or jalapenos, whatever it is that you want to add to your nachos. And these were really, really good. Like I said, probably my favorite meal of the week. I will definitely be making them again.